Lorraine here, back again to show you something I'm very excited about. It's painting on wallpaper. Discontinued wallpaper books that you can get from places like Benjamin Moore, Sherman Williams, and they'd be so happy to give them to you because if you don't take them, they put them in the garbage. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I did with these papers, then I'm going to get on to paint a paper for you, and then we're going to make a collage together. Now, these were papers. These three were papers that I gave one coat of paint. This one, I don't know if you can see, it has lovely textured leaves in it. So it makes for a very lovely paper when it's painted. This one is simply a textured solid piece and can be used in coordination with any of your printed papers and makes a nice contrast. This one has diamond shapes in it, one coat of paint, and is quite nice as well. Now these three are papers that I painted over, which we will be doing together in a moment. And two layers, three layers, whatever you feel inclined to do, you have to play. You, I'm going to show you what I do, and you can use that as a takeoff, but you have to remember that you can go in your own direction. Okay, now I wanted to show you too that these are papers that haven't been painted, but they are ready to use in a collage, I think, without paint. They're quite beautiful, very textured like a grass cloth. And you can see here how lovely they are. Gold and brown. Again, textured with knots in it. And I just pulled this one out because I happen to like it. All right, so we'll be back in a minute with the paper, and we'll talk more. Bye. Okay, so let's get started. I've chosen a textured paper to do with a solid color, and one that I can do layers on but after letting it dry, I'm going to show you how you can superimpose a little design on top of the layered paper. And you can use them either way, either layered alone or with an overlay of some sort of a design on the top. Here we go. Simply paint over your paper. All right, if I wanted to, I put white down here so that I could change the colors a little bit. Beautiful, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And when I'm done, whoops, purple got in, so what? We're gonna be using purple. We are gonna be using it. Let's hold it up so you can see it better. Be the design. A little pink came through here, which is very pretty. Now the next paper. This one we are going to layer. And we're going to use the same colors. And we will begin, I think, using a little more purple. So we have some kind of a contrast with our papers. And just go for it. I'm kind of liking that, but you have to remember too, I'm going to draw in between and I can change, lighten, or darken anything here or add more green, which I will do in a minute. Play, use different size brushes. You can paint by using one straight stroke, or you can do what I'm doing right now. So you can start with either way. It's up to you. Okay, so now for the moment, this is what we have. I'll be back in a minute after this dries. All dried, so here we go. See the lovely pink coming through? And we just never know what we're going to end up with, do we? 
I want to mention too that, you know, even if your paper is half one color or more white in an area, you never know what you're going to cut up and use in your final collage. So there you are. It's a little richer in color, and I kind of like that. So let's let this dry, and when I come back, I'll show you how I'm going to lay a design on top of this. So I'm choosing white, and I'm just going to make circles. Now, if you had the patience or you had the interest, you could stencil on top of these papers. And I'm just playing, just playing. I'm learning when I do this, and you will learn also as you play. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to leave it for a minute, and then I'm going to spray it with alcohol. And it's a fearful thing, but it isn't, because I want to take a chance, and I'm excited to see what happens. Okay. I did let this dry a little bit, but not 100%, because I do want the alcohol to remove some of the paint. And it would be easier if it's semi-dry. So I have a piece of paper toweling. I'm going to see what happens. And I will blot. And I will rub it. And I do like what's happening. Okay. So that's about it. And I'm very happy with the way this looks. I think it's very, very beautiful. And we will be using it, perhaps, in our collage. I have other coordinated papers that I did in the same color scheme, if you can see the circles in this one. Came out a little bit different because the back is a little more mottled. And this is the solid piece that this one started with. And I kept that because I, I like it. It has actually a little texture in the back. And then I did one that's more white. So we're going to play with that later and see what we can come up with as far as a collage is concerned. I hope you enjoyed what I've shown you so far. I'm excited about doing the next step. See you in a bit. Okay, now what I did do is, I thought about this a little bit. I picked out these two darker papers. They're done on the wallpaper, the same type of process that I shared with you, along with this one here and this one here that I did with you before. So what we're going to do to start is we are going to take these papers and we are going to begin to cut them up. And I like to do it that way without giving it any thought. Not all the papers cut up completely, but small, medium, and large to begin with, to give me something to work with. So this one here is pretty much a good size. This, I kind of like the whites in here. So I'm going to do that. Not sure of where it will go, but we will see. And I'm going to continue to do that with the papers, and I will be right back. OK, 
Okay, now I did cut them up small, medium, and large, different shapes. And I did want to say at this time, don't be afraid to cut the paper up. It's such uh, a common thing for all of us to be concerned about ruining a great big piece of paper. So go to it and don't give it any thought because later on we're going to assemble, we can layer, we can cut the pieces down a little bit if we want to, and then we will make a beautiful collage, I hope. Okay, so I'm going to move these aside, and we're going to be using matte board, and we're going to start. Just going to play around with the pieces and see where it goes. So overlay, and don't be afraid of showing white space, and I always have to remind you that we are going to cover these things up if we don't like them. So I think what I'm going to do is just dig in. I've got my paste. I'm going to just start to adhere. Using my magazine to glue on, like I always do. And just lay the pieces down, take chances, not knowing exactly what's going to evolve. And I'm using a matte gel, medium. See, what else can we put down here that might be fun? Let's try that and see where that's going to go. What shall we do? Hmm. Good. Always thinking about contrast as I choose. No. How about And always reminding myself that as this thing begins to develop, as this piece starts to develop, I will make more and more decisions to try to come up with pleasing design. I know I'm covering that up, but you know what? It's okay. Let's see what happens. Hmm. I don't think I like that. Let's see. I always like to tell the story about the woman in one of my classes who did not want to cut the paper up. And you can understand why. I'm going to tilt that a little bit. And I was helping somebody, and all of a sudden she's, I hear her on the other side of the room. 
can't cut this paper up. I, I don't know how to do that. I don't know wh what to do. How am I going to? So I said, don't worry, I'll be there. I'll be right there. And I went over. And I said, look, here's your scissor. Just cut the paper up. I'll be back. And she took her scissor. I left. And the next thing I know, she's calling out, I did it, I did it. I says, all right. Sounds ridiculous, right? But it isn't. We all feel that way. I feel that way, too, when I cut the papers up. So I go back. She had the papers all cut up. I said, well, now you have to assemble the pieces. And she says, I don't, I don't know how to do that. I don't know what to do. I said, just play, just the way I'm playing here. And let's see, what else are we going to do with this? No. It's getting a little too dark. You know, maybe I'll do that. And I'll take and I'll put the darker piece underneath. And here I can cut it up a little bit more to get a different kind of a shape. All right, let's do that. Okay, you know what, maybe I'm going to, see I can do stuff like that after, maybe I can add on a tiny little bit of this. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do, and I like the torn edge on it, so I'm going to do that. Okay, and you know, I could tilt it, and I think I will. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Anyway, the next thing I knew, she had cut up the pa not only cut up the papers, but she had begun putting them together. And it took her time, because she had time there. But then I heard her call out to me again. And she said, yeah, I like that. She said, I did it, I did it. So I went back, and sure enough, she had really put together a beautiful piece of artwork. You know, I think I'm going to leave this out. Well, maybe I won't. I'm going to cut that off. Okay. Now, what to do next? Let's see. I like this, and I feel as if I could use a little bit more of that somewhere for repetition. And I don't want too much of it because it is kind of glitzy. And there you go, I'm cutting a shape, not sure what's, what it's going to look like, but I am going to glue that down too. I'm going to move this back a little to make sure this is in frame for you. Yeah. And I think I said this way, no, this way, no. 
this way. Uh, how about that? Something is starting to happen here. And I think what I'm going to do for a moment is I'm going to, well, maybe use my mat just to check it out and see what I feel is happening here. It's not too bad. Hey, it's pretty good. But I have a few more challenges at hand. So now I'm going to begin to think about it a little bit more. I have a circle. And I want to hit that. And I think I will. Do I want it that way? Yeah, I want it that way. Why? I just like it that way. I don't really have a good reason for it. It just appeals to me. So as I always mention, some of these things or choices that you make are intuitive. And you just like the way it looks. So that's what you do. That's what you do. So that's what I did. Now, I'm going to take a break for a minute, go away, think about it a little bit more, cut a few more papers, and then I'll be back. Bye. Okay, so I went away and I thought about it a little bit, and I did cut up a few smaller pieces. I'm going to just show you where they are. I, I cut up a few smaller pieces, actually. I didn't use them all, but I played with it a little bit. And I, I will explain to you why. Uh, I chose. Anyway, I did choose to cut this odd shape here. This I felt was too green, so too solid, and it needed to be, uh, you know, broken up. And there's another one up here that's in coordination with this. It's a different shape, but it's kind of the same feeling. And I did that so that I broke up that harsh line at the top. I didn't care for the way that looked. So I'm going to adhere those two pieces for the moment. And, well, you know what? I want to tell you, too. I, I did add this little tiny piece down here. And the reason why I did that is because I felt the line also was a little too severe there. And I thought, well, it would be more graceful if I added a little bit. So I did find the paper that, this type of paper that I used in this little corner here. And... That's what I did. So, in fact, I think I'm going to fasten that first. Okay. And I had to cut it, you know, I had to be a little particular about how I cut it, so I did kind of place it down and play with it a little bit. All right, so let me get my adhesive and go for it. Put that in place. And I chose to do that too because I had the black up here and I thought I would like to balance it out a little bit better. And I like the shape, like I said. So now I'll just fasten this piece here. And now, last but not least, I decided on using this piece. I had another piece that I was considering, and I don't know, I always like to show you sometimes, say what you think, but this is what I was thinking of using. And I don't know, I'm still undecided, but I, I think this looks a little more, a little more casual. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And we're almost done. Almost done. All right, now, that's really, we're finished. And I'm very, very happy with it. I, uh, I really like it very much. I like the silver that was brought into it. It's almost like getting white without really being too stark. And I did want to show you how it looks with the matte a larger mat. 
Okay, that's 11 by 14 with an 8 by 10 opening. And I thought, here's a perfect spot to sign my name. And we always like to do that. I mean, our work, we put a lot of effort into what we do. I hope you'll try one. I hope you'll try the papers. I hope you get excited about it, as excited as I was to show you. And I love spending time with you. And I hope to see you again. Take care. Bye.